Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to the third week of Kansas Esports. Today, we've got an exciting League of Legends match. <laughs> oh yeah. Back for some League of Legends, everybody's favorite video game. Uh, here we are, getting into the draft. Uh, we are seeing KU on the blue side and our opponent on the red side. So for some bands, we got Sion and Caitlyn on blue. And so far, just the auction on red side. You Maybe we see some similar stuff other teams are getting. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm seeing a pattern in these bands uh, from the enemy here. I think they've maybe done their research. Oh, the Ooh, Vagar. Vagar. Hello. Interesting <laughs> that they would choose to get rid of that, given how it went last week. But, bit, yeah, I, I mean, we kind of take those. We honestly kind of take those. The bait and switch. I mean, if they're thinking it's not going to be a first pick Zeri, then it's good, because you're saying, okay, this counter pick you tried... We don't want you to try it again because we think it's, like, actually good. It's very true. But I would anticipate a Zeri first pick here because it's just that OP. With the Twitch ban, of course. Twitch very uh, very good ban versus K. The Jinx instead. Jinx instead. Okay. Zeri's still open. I wonder if we see that taken away. Would not be surprised. But maybe something a little bit more comfortable. Zeri's only been out two weeks or so now. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think Zeri, like... As I have uh, seen it, like, be permaban in pro play or, like, see uh, see how high ELO solo queue people are talking about it, it seems definitely very, very good. Karma. The karma first. What to pair with the Karma? Hmm. I'm actually interested if it's not going to be Zeri. Ooh, I can't look at that. Ash. Okay. All right. Maybe a safe pick. You know, something comfortable. Yeah. Ash Karma, really, I mean, it's just a slow lane. Ash outranging, mm -hmm. Ash outranging the mini minigun form of Jinx. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not super well versed on this matchup, but I believe that they would like it here. Lulu, Jinx Lulu, I like it. Jinx is still strong. Lulu is still strong. I personally dislike Lulu greatly, <laughs> but it happens. Up there with Jana. <laughs> And Xin Zhao's the lock-in. Okay, alright. So far, so similar. Um, the Trundle Hover. A little bit of spice thrown into the mix. Nice, nice. I think Trundle is a popular pick against something like Xin Zhao. I think it's something we see a lot in pro play, where, I mean, Trundle just kind of runs at him. Corky ban. <clears throat> Corky and Victor. Corky and Victor. All roads lead to Quirky and Victor. <laughs> Do we see Victor ban also? Malphite, not not Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> a little bit sad we won't get to see him, but I do understand. Having a giant rock run straight at you. It's a bit intimidating. Is a little bit of a problem. <laughs> There's Victor, Victor ban. Hey, he called it. Nice. All roads lead to Quirky and Victor ban. Actually, <laughs> we'll get something exciting. That's true. I mean, that's very true. Jace ban, good. Jace took over a game against us last week. Very strong champion. Like to see it banned. <clears throat> and the pick on four, if I had to guess, uh, they'll blind. See how high probably is. mid, since mid is more blindable than top. But they could just go for a tank top here. Graves also, I mean, kind of fits that, like... I mean, it is a top laner, so I was wrong. They blinded top with the Graves, <laughs> but, I mean, it kind of doesn't really matter because Graves just kind of neutralizes a lane and just farms and tries to one-shot people later. What to reply here with? We've seen a little bit of Gragas in the past. Potentially see that here and now. Just stun out the Graves a little bit. The Kled is still open. <clears throat> Kled notably. is open. Kled is open for the first time. I wonder if that will be the pick. It Shen won't. It'll be the... Shen. Interesting. Okay. Taking advantage of Shen's new, newfound uh, uniqueness, I guess, with the Unleashed Teleport change. Right. Now Shen is a little bit unique in his ability to help out at level 6, mm -hmm. rather than having to wait until 14 minutes. And it looks like the mid lane pick. Mid lane blind, what'll it be? Orianna. I like it. I like, I like it. it too. <clears throat> Orianna's a safe control mage. The ball able to get a lot of work, zoning zoning people during dragon fights, and you have that ball delivery system with the Xin Zhao and the Shen. 
Seraphine <laughs> okay. is the reply. Seraphine okay. mid. All right. Okay. 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 That's All exciting. Right. That is very exciting. I am personally a Seraphine mid connoisseur. I know people like to play it bot lane or support. No. We I don't just get prefer any of not playing Seraphine. None of that so. around here. All right. <laughs> I'm going to pretend you didn't just say that. <laughs> but Seraphine able to get, like, able to clear mini waves really fast. She, like, her Q does that. That's a, that is true. Missing health damage on, on their health <sighs> targets. I guess. And with that, with the, it seems more like this, like, slow you down, stun you type of comp from from the red side here, and then kind of a standard front-to-back here for KU with that Oriana and the Jinx. Yeah, some very standard League of Legends coming yeah. up next. All right, and while we wait for this three-minute spectator delay, I believe we're going to take a little bit of a break, so don't go anywhere, and we'll be back soon.
And welcome back. Apologies for the delay. We've got everything situated at this point. Two minutes in, zero, zero. Haven't missed a thing. Yeah. Sorry, we did have a little bit of a technical delay with uh, with a little bit of problem with the client. Nothing nobody's uh, never experienced, but but here we are. We didn't miss that much, and everything everything is okay. <clears throat> so right now, it looks like we've just got some early trading, some like pretty standard stuff going on. Uh, I think something of note, actually. Oh, as there's a fight bot down bot lane. <laughs> Jinx is getting dangerously low. Both flashes from the ADC is coming off. She's going to survive it, though. <clears throat> Might have to back here. It's getting a little bit scary, you were saying? Well, so the good that, that was a good play from KU. Oh, as Shen diving in gets the stun off. Graves getting a little bit low there. The Shen damage. Early is oh, just each auto chunking away the health. All right, so in that little skirmish bot lane, they do burn three summoners for the side of Harper and only two for the side of KU. So definitely a, a very positive trade there. Plus coming out good on the health trade. <laughs> Shen is diving in deep again, despite the flash going Ooh. off. The auto goes off it and Graves will fall. A solo kill top lane. Brutal. She completes me. Really, <laughs> really showing. The, the clap master, who the real clap master is, honestly. <laughs> that early game Shen damage is ridiculous. Yeah. I was not expecting that at all. It really seemed he wasn't expecting it either, bringing yeah. that flash after he's already dead. Definitely really unfortunate and not something you want to see. The thing I was going to say about two minutes ago <laughs> is that Seraphine has already burned through her entire mana pool, and now she Good. can't really, like crash a wave at all without help <laughs> from the jungler. Jungler's coming now, but it's still, like not ideal, especially because uh, Oriana here can just push in this wave and walk away. Ooh, but Trundle's here. For the delay. Gets the Got slow it. off. Get a little bit of chunk damage off on the Oriana, but she's within turret range. She does use that phase rush to go ahead and get away. We'll end up staying for another wave, it looks like, before possibly going back to base. Both these mid laners chilling with no mana. Just <laughs> slapping each other with those mm -mm. auto attacks. It can add up, but from a mage, not particularly damaging. Wave crashing here, bot lane. Maybe we'll see a, a move from the Karma and a reset or something. I'm not sure. Mm. Here, we've got Dragon coming up, Cloud Dragon. Will be no Cloud Rift this game. Very cool. <laughs> Don't really care about Cloud Dragon, so glad to see that we'll get to something a little bit more exciting. Get it out of here. A little bit of an interesting item pickup from the Seraphim. <clears throat> ah, which are you referring to? The 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 tier, the dark seal, the or dark the seal. fairy she charm? She started with the dark seal. Yes. Um, which is maybe a little bit more aggressive than I thought she'd be. <clears throat> I think it's generally fine because I I don't know if this fairy charm is more just for like, okay, we're I'm gonna just build this fairy charm because it's 125 gold and I can just regen some mana. Or if they are going to maybe go for that more supportive Moonstone or Shrelia's build. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I do like, I mean, I think the Dark Seal start is fine, because if you're going for a support build, the Medjai's can be a good thing. Because if you're a support, you're more likely to rack up assists and pick up Dark Seal and Medjai's stacks that way. So I, I do understand the rational there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with your starting gold, it's a pretty, mm -hmm. it's a fine Ooh. investment. Would maybe have enjoyed the Corrupting Potions a little bit more, but... <laughs> that was that's already it's already happened it's fine meanwhile on the top lane shen and graves have hit level six shen ready to teleport to an ally at a moment's notice yes giving them a battle shield which is why i think we're seeing the bot lane and the jungler try to move in and maybe get something done maybe try to look for a dive position doesn't end up turning into that but xin Zhao is going to definitely look for something with this channel Ooh. Nice footwork from Jay's here to dodge out on some of those mm -hmm. high notes. Oh, Encore using mid. Double flash, mm -hmm. okay. That didn't get caught by the camera, but I saw it. I see everything. <laughs> neither neither mid has flash, and Seraphine did burn that Encore. Overall, doesn't. I mean, it means a lot, I guess, because now Seraphine doesn't have that for a possible dragon contest, mm -hmm. or Oriana can't really flash Shockwave, but... Overall, like, a, a pretty, like, good play to just trade your flash, 
call your jungler, maybe try to get something going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kansas did manage to steal the Trundle's blue buff there. Ooh, always something good. Exciting. <laughs> Lulu's mm -hmm. still sitting on just a spell. Theme. Ooh, uh -oh. Orianna gets a little bit of a cone. <clears throat> Does have that Shen ult. Both midlands are there. Shen coming online. Orianna buff hits too. Trundle getting dangerously low, but a lot of damage gets onto that Orianna. Can the Shen will flash to pick up that kill, but he's not going to get out scot free. That's tough. So the reason they go for that play is exactly what I said before, where you bur you trade the flash, you call your jungler, you try to make something happen. They do, they do trade back that kill because of the Shen seeing United coming through and helping out, but. Flashless Orianna will kind of just get run down by a Trundle, even without ult. And, I mean, he did have to burn his flash for it, but mm -hmm. uh, overall, a two-for-one play, definitely the right kind of look that Harper were looking for. Did he just ult the blue buff? All right. <laughs> I guess. Hey, man, low cooldowns. I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad that the camera actually showed us that. That's yeah, that was really funny. funny. does yeah. feel bad, obviously, for KU to have that blue buff taken away. Orianna is a pretty... Mana hunger champion, but Graves loses some of that kill threat on the Shen if he had any at all. Of course, mm -hmm. with the plated steel caps and the bramble vest, not really going to mm -hmm. do a whole lot of damage to him. The CS lead already present for Xin Zhao in the jungle is looking tasty. Yeah, twenty farm up in just nine minutes is uh, pretty impressive. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Uh, it's just some good pacing. Trundle has been able to get that. Those are that one play off. Xin Zhao not really quite able to get something done. But this is. Trundle is on the Rift Herald right now, so if they know about it, then they can go for the dragon. <clears throat> Looks like there's not enough vision there, and the Shen is a little bit preoccupied with maybe locking down this Graves kill. He will chase a little bit further, but it's not going to be quite enough as the turret's right there. And she completes me definitely having like a kind of a redemption game here for the for the past week <laughs> getting kind of bullied last week and now definitely showing the graves what's up mm -mm. Ooh, zin Zhao is right in the bot lane <laughs> we'll do a lot of damage there the flash will come through but a nice jinx ult will finish her off karma might get out Ooh. one final auto will not manage to finish it off and only one kill secured for kansas the flash forward, not quite being able to pick up the kill is really unfortunate, but it's a good look here. You see Trundle takes the Rift Herald, you know he's top lane, and uh, you, you want to try to counter on the map. Mm -hmm. You get the kill on the Ash, which the Jinx picks up with that Super Mega Death Rocket, and yep. now you can move over to Dragon. I, I, it's a good counter response to that play. And I do want to comment on something I said earlier with that Fairy Charm turning into that Bandle Glass Mirror in, in the Seraphine's inventory. She is going to be going for a support item which I do like kind of giving buffs to your graves, but I think this kind of a strategy would work better if you're the team with Jinx and not so much the Ash. But we'll, ha we'll have to see how, how that'll end up shaking out since Ash is generally a lower damage carry than someone like Jinx. Mm -hmm. Harper has a lot riding on this graves. We'll yeah. see what he can do. <clears throat> Especially with that Seraphine support build coming out, you do really hate that solo death top lane even more in the fact that he he is up his mythic of course shen did buy his boots and a bramble vest first so he actually has no progress towards a mythic but able to stay up in cs in a lane that's going to kind of bully you is is definitely a good sign <clears throat> and with his ult coming up we could see a play try to be made really at any moment at least i hope so bot dive zinjar run bot dive bot do it <laughs> They're not even under turret. It's free. A little bit earlier, first dragon went over to Kansas after making that bot lane play. So nice to see a little bit of a win Drake pickup. Yes. <clears throat> and here we are, about 11 and a half minutes in. We're seeing a little under a 2,000 gold lead for the side of KU. A much better early game than the likes of what we have seen, for example, last week, <laughs> which was rather unfortunate. <clears throat> But it, it is good to see the team have a bit of a a bit of a bounce back game. Trundle's still holding on to this Rift Herald here. We'll see what he can do with it. Potentially taking a bot side here. I think it will it would end up tying up before plates can fall, so it'll definitely get used to grab some plates. Maybe looking to try and do a bot. He's just Q 
camping here. I don't Ooh, know. Trundle, the patience pays off, and Xin Zhao gets caught out and immediately eradicated. I guess he thought he could do that, but they didn't really have any information, so it's a little bit scary to really make that play. It just looks like kind of an overstep or a miscalculation, really. <clears throat> uh, that kill doesn't necessarily lead to anything. It went onto the Trundle instead of Ash. So if you were ever going to get caught out, that's not necessarily the worst way to do it. Ooh, the Seraphine poke, despite Ooh. going the support build. It's just gonna so easily pick up that Oriana there. Ult used, charmed person. Yeah, the the Seraphine with those passive procs really like weaving in the autos between. Oh, Ooh, Lulu getting bag. dangerously low. Polymorph on the. <laughs> Jinx getting beat up. Ooh. Enough damage will come through to finish off the Ash, and that's going to be Karma secured as well. <clears throat> so what turned from a really good play onto Jay's in the mid lane actually turned into a 2v2 slaughter bot lane. Lulu almost going down, but not going down and allowing Jinx to just clean up both of those kills is definitely very good. Mm -hmm. Jinx is snowballing with the Kraken Slayer going to do so much damage. Mm -hmm. It's a good bait with the Lulu out there. Trundle, meanwhile, topside, knocking up the uh, knocking up the Shen, but the Shen's going to be able to get away under tower. <clears throat> that was really well played by Shen here, because Graves ended up burning his flash. I don't really know why. He doesn't have a lockdown spell to <laughs> do anything. So with, with Shen being able to save his flash there and not really lose anything as Graves Kansas. just shoved the wave in, like, it's definitely a, a really good play for that. Kansas is going deep. Oriana uses ult on the Trundle, potentially gets some CC on him. Trundle's getting low. Zinchao's there. Flash used. That will be the Trundle picked Ooh. up in exchange for the Zinchao life. <clears throat> Graves and Oriana scuffle here. It's not a, a bit whole scary. lot. Shen's backing up, but Seraphine's there as well. Graves gets low, picked up by the Shen. <clears throat> Oriana getting dangerously low, does get killed off by the Seraphine. Shen flash does need to be used. Looks like he's going to get out securely. A whole lot of CC coming from the bot side as the ash falls. Well, that, okay, a lot happened. <laughs> was it, was, it was two for two in top lane. That's, it, it was maybe, it was a good play by KU. Definitely an overextension to maybe chase a little bit too hard. Mm -hmm. And then Ash doing, I don't know what, walking up maybe for something and just getting caught by the flame chompers mm -hmm. and giving Jinx a fourth kill. Ooh, I don't know if they know Trundle is here. I don't think they do. Now they do though. Lulu with the scanner does sense a little bit of a Trundle in the area. Karma's there for the backup, but Zinchao's nearby. Yeah, I want this. Does get Polymorph, but that's a lot of damage. He'll have to scutter away. Trundle just sprinting away on his frozen domain. That's <laughs> definitely something that I, I think is very fun. Classic Trundle things. Ooh, this, but this is going to be a Drake. Second Drake going over to Kansas. Yeah, Hextech Drake. Really uncontested. I guess they, I mean, you can't really contest this dragon with the with this 4 no Jinx. And honestly, I think your mm -hmm. game plan, if you're Harper, is to just uh, maybe make a play with Trundle or or like an Ash ult to get the the Jinx summoners out and then look for the Seraphine play maybe a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But they don't really have anything to dive on the Jinx or like any real backline access other than Encore. So if I'm if I'm Jinx here, I'm really happy building this Kraken Slayer and just chilling behind my behind my Shen, behind my Xin Zhao, and just hitting all these people, all these really squishy health bars. <clears throat> the Kansas bot lane has opted to switch to the top side. Yeah. Push into turret here. Pick up that turret bot lane. Mm -hmm. Why not move top lane? Do the same thing. Extend that lead a little bit. For a brief moment, Harper was ahead on kills there, but <clears throat> sure enough, we're back to eight on six. This trundle just gets to get beat up in his jungle position. He's... <laughs> He yeah, got about half the farm is in Zhao, which is Ooh. just it's very disappointing. Fortunately for him, Trundle is a pretty low economy jungler. Uh, he can just kind of ult the Shen in a fight and instantly gain <clears throat> a bunch of gold worth of defensive stats that will make him a lot better. Ooh! Oh. <clears throat> Ash Arrow does find the Jinx, but a cleanse causes her to not worry too much. <clears throat> 
A little bit of a scuffle three on three coming topside. There's a lot of damage going on the graves. Ooh. Does find the kill. Lulu will popped on the jinx. We'll see what she can do with it. <clears throat> Trundle turret damage. The Shen is there to tank a little bit here, and the Trundle will go down. <clears throat> Karma's here, potentially good looking to pick up the Scrabbles on the Kansas side. Beautiful healing stuff, charmed though they may. <clears throat> and it looks like that's going to be the extent of this little kerfuffle. Ooh. Okay, so that was kind of the idea that I was talking about, where you make a play with the Ashel onto Jinx and try to burn some of her summoners, and then make an additional play to try and get that shut down. But it seems that like they burned the sums and they thought that they thought that they could just uh, like win the fight from there and continue going. They weren't they weren't really able to. Jinx is able to pick up another kill and they do end up giving over one. But uh, at the end of the day, it's it's like a fine play if you can maybe follow up on it. But Ku definitely getting to capitalize on that. Ah, yes. <laughs> we got it fixed. Yeah, that. No worries, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So now, KU being, what, three and a half thousand gold up, are going to want to look to press their advantage. The Rift Herald is maybe a little bit too late to take. <clears throat> Not really that worth it. Objective bounties are live. Interesting. Kind so, of surprising, considering it's only a 3k difference, but... Yeah, I mean, it also takes into account turrets and, like, turret platings that you got and sure, sure. dragons. So even mm -hmm. if it's not, like, the gold, they'll do that. But they are going to go for this Rift Herald. It's fine. It's If you can use it to get the mid lane turret, that is the goal. Looks like Harbor Ops to not contest this. Yeah, there's no real reason to contest a Herald this, like, a second Herald this late. You just have to hope that you can figure out where they're going to use it, when they're going to use it, and try to match that. But the objective bounty coming up is pretty good, especially with the health on this top lane turret. If they are able to find an angle maybe to trade a third dragon or something for... And not that you want to trade third dragon for objective bounty, but <laughs> sometimes you need to find your way back into the game and you just say, okay, we need five more minutes. We're just going to get these bounties and then... Maybe look for something else from there. Yeah. The vision control for both these teams this game has been super good. <clears throat> A couple of kills coming directly from that yeah. vision control. That's true. I agree. <clears throat> Do you have dragon here, or dragon spawning here in less than a minute? We may see a fight before then, though. Just fishing with the wind becomes lightning. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of spells and stuff used. <laughs> the Jinx will need to be Lulu ulted. <clears throat> a teleport coming in. Graves is here. We'll see what he can do with it. Shen gets a little bit caught out. A lot of damage and does get deleted. <clears throat> Graves gets about half health. Oh my gosh, the Oriana damage. Wow. Just eradicated. <clears throat> And that's going to be the next kill picked up. There's the Jinx coming online there after the first kill. <clears throat> Brutal stuff. Yeah, so I'll make that point again that uh, they're trying to capitalize on the Jinx having no flash with the Seraphine uh, R flash there and just really trying to, to catch her out. Not really able to work because while you do have that Encore, it's like you don't really have anything else or any way to really get to her. So... Mm -hmm. While Jinx does initially drop a little bit low, the Lulu comes out with the <laughs> ult. Kansas uh, opts to, to drop the Herald and then go straight to Baron. Yes. Wow. It's a good play. You have wow. members running from base, people that are still dead. The Herald doesn't mm. get to charge, and I think they're going to have to get off the Baron anyway, so that makes me feel less good about it. Maybe they don't want to. <laughs> this looks a little bit scary. Harper is here. Okay. Shen's back from the respawn. So maybe they should have probably just stayed mid to try to focus down that mid lane turret, get that down, and then you can maybe look for Baron in a couple more minutes. But mm -mm. they don't really get punished for that other than just mm -hmm. winning a fight and then not really getting anything. Good foresight from the Karma there to check that Baron pit. Mm -hmm. Especially like right after 20 minutes you win a fight like that, you have a yeah. super fed Jinx. Really easy angle to just turn to Baron. But now we mm -mm. do have Graves with two items. He's not behind. 
really. I mean, mm -mm, no, it's looking pretty good. He's not ahead of the curve. I mean, this Jinx is what ahead of the curve looks like. Two really expensive <laughs> items already. True, true. But if Graves is allowed to continue going at the rate that he's going, maybe pick up this top lane turret bounty, which it looks like they want to make a mm -hmm. move for, then I would start to get maybe not worried. Is the worried may not be the right word, but. It looks like Kansas oh, knows concerned. about the play that's about to happen topside, but they might not care. Yeah. They can... They do have <laughs> Shenult. Ooh. Ooh, and an Ashult comes an on. An Ashult does miss. Does miss the Orianna. Is the Orianna enough here to stop this top aggression, though? Ooh. <laughs> Suggest in the bot line. That's not looking pretty. <laughs> Immediately deleted. They will let top turret slide, but it's worth a couple kills. Yes. They do trade that that top lane uh, objective bounty for a mid lane turret and a kill on the mid laner. Uh, I'm not sure it's worth, considering the objective bounty is only worth 50 additional gold, and that mid lane turret plus kill on the mid laner does lead mm -hmm. into an inner turret, which is worth a lot of gold. Mm -hmm. I believe 600. Second mid turret will fall. Yes. So far, so good for the side of Kansas. Yeah, the goal lead has, uh, it's been kind of a slow rise up to this 5,000 gold lead that it is right now, um, but, like, it's ri been rising the whole game consistently, and of note, Jinx just finished the Runon's Hurricane, <laughs> so those AoE rockets are going to do big damage. Oh my gosh, it's Did opt ugly. for the Bloodthirster second. I don't hate which it. Which is, a, I don't hate it either. Especially if you're But, ahead. if you think... Jinx does a lot of damage now, then she still has an Infinity Edge to purchase, <laughs> which will make her do quite a bit more damage. That is, if the game lasts long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine Jinx will be getting lots of money here soon. And <clears throat> when you have lots of money, buying an item is easy. Very true. Kansas potentially looking to start this Rift Arrow. They want to instigate a fight somehow. Push that lead just a little bit further. Mm -hmm. They have kind of a 2-2-1 two, two, going on right now. Probably going to move towards like a 1-4 or a 1-3-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. Ooh, almost catching out the Jinx here. We'll see if she can get out. Lulu is still patiently waiting. Zinchev's in, though. He is eager for more. <clears throat> A lot of damage potential here. <laughs> Shen goes in deep. Oriana finds the first kill. Jinx finds the second. Oriana the third. Graves running away for his life, but it's not gonna matter. The Shen's there to pick it up. <clears throat> Jinx ult does miss, but it's not gonna matter. The Oriana does find the Trundle there. And that's a clean ace for KU over Very Harper. Clean. Yeah. I believe that's gonna be the game. And you see the you see the idea there, but the problem is you can't really make that like you can't really burn your engage that like, you can't commit that hard to it while Jinx has both sums up. You need to try to burn those sooner. But even at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, because she's just that strong <laughs> and gets to win. So here, in game one, KU will go up in the series 1-0. to zero. Very good bounce back game from last week. Beautiful. Really stuff. good to see. Yeah. Really. really Jinx <laughs> is very exciting to see. As you can tell, I'm off screen, having, having so much excitement. Um... <laughs> Yeah, what did you think? I thought Overall that was thoughts. fantastic. Great stuff, especially considering in the the kind of rivet we were in last week. Um, one game up in this best of three. The enemy given a surprising amount of uh, pushback for being, you know, potentially a little bit of a weaker team. I'm, yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> I do want to point out I did like the Shen. She completes me, Sopachi, however <clears throat> he uh, prefers to be called now. I'm not sure. Uh, definitely having a bounce back game after having really rough performance last week. Yeah. Getting that first blood solo kill, really, really cool to that see. That was pretty, yeah. So for right now, we are going to, to uh, go to a break, I believe, as we wait for the second game to get into Champion Select. So we'll be back soon.
And welcome back to game two of this best of three. Kansas is currently up one, and they're over on the red side this time. Yes, we do have that side swap. Maybe we'll get to see a little bit of a different draft. Maybe the reverse, like like the reverse side, salty run back. But I think, I think praying for the salty run back is a... a <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't want it. I want some variance, you know? Yeah. I mean, I would take it, but, but I don't, like, need it. Yeah. So far, do you have the run back on the bands? I'm curious to see what Harper will look to change, what they think the adaptation is. Um, maybe it's getting rid of Jinx, but then you leave him up with Twitch, and then you're like, okay. I mean, yeah. honestly, the adaptation, in my opinion, is to drop the Vagar ban, because that felt a little bit a little bit wonky. It was definitely, maybe because we're in a different perspective, we think it's wonky, but... I mean, it was very curated for Ziri. Yes. So, if Harper here wants to pick Ziri then oh. could potentially have seen a beggar ban. So the adaptation is going to be to ban the Xin Zhao. I like it. Rather than I don't, I don't hate Jinx. It. Yeah, I think it's a good ban. Xin Zhao is very annoying. <laughs> he gets to be a fighter while also being a pseudo tank. Mm -hmm. And KU will remove the Lulu rather than play it. All right, first pick. Mm. Will it be Zeri? Will it be anything other? And they it is going to be Jinx. Jinx. So they, rather than banning it away, they do pick it themselves. Interesting. Okay. I think it's good. A good adaptation, very strong champion, good first pick. Nothing really I can say. Yep, yep. That would nothing I can really say about it. I, I don't think the Ash Karma was the was the move. I think it de didn't really look that good. Ash in that composition doesn't really do anything. <laughs> so it looks like KU's response uh, to the Jinx will be Senna. The Vagar is open. I'd be surprised, <laughs> but there's a chance. I hope not, but we will see. <laughs> a little bit of light in team, you know. It is going to be Syndra. Uh, okay. Do huh. anticipate this to be a Syndra mid. I There could be some cheesy stuff going on bot lane with like the, the Syndra bot lane abusing maybe some low MR on the Jinx, but I would imagine this is just a blind Syndra mid. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yumi. Oh, no. So now this allows maybe for uh, something a little bit weird with because Senna combos are something that are really interesting. So it's stuff like Senna plus Tom Kench has been popular in the past. Senna plus Cho'Gath. Senna plus Nasus, I think. Some of these things that... Uh, Ooh, the Zack Hubber. Come on. Yeah! yeah. My gooey Zach, boy! Zack Jungle. Let's go. That's a spicy pick. Haven't seen that one recently. But That's I'm interested right. to see what we decide to put with the Senna. Rex size the Hubber. That'd, that'd be something. Yeah, I didn't think He's we'd get the Rex <laughs> He's hitting the random button. Come on. Trundle is probably really good here. That it will be like Trundle. Trundle. I like that. Mm -hmm. Trundle is a tank counterpick. That is his inherent goal, is to not really build tanky himself, kind of to go this little bruiser thing, like with the Divine Sunderer, and, and be kind of a juggernaut. But with that, with that ult, he really just steals the enemy, the enemy tank their uh, armor and MR becoming very much more tanky. I really like this as a response to Zack. Interesting that they would go for the Zack with, with the Trundle up, but maybe they think he doesn't play it. Or that it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Zack there is definitely really weird. Well, I do... The Shen there. I yeah, was the Shen say. I think that's a good adaptation as well. Able yeah. to really save Jinx quite a few times and do a lot of stuff around the map. Graves was not allowed to do. Uh, I'll wait to make my point about Zach. Actually, I hope it's Demonic Embrace. I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we do, on a, on a on an actual note, we do have Malphite and Jace, the bands from last game, sticking over. Makes sense. I like it. Malphite, mm -hmm. a good, just kind of, we want to go in. So we're going to pick mm -hmm. Malphite. And then Jace, obviously, doing tons and tons of damage with the Shock Blast. Victor, the ban. Okay. I'm not Certain that they needed one. to ban Victor with the Sintra taken, but maybe they maybe they think it's a Sintra bot lane, which would surprise me. <laughs> but yeah, the the Victor ban, questionable. Uh, but we take those. Oh my gosh, it's a salty run back, but flipped. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Graves top. All right, let's see mm -hmm. what the what the response into it this time will be with the Shed not available. We'll see. We'll definitely see a different matchup. Top lane. I wonder. 
Will Clapmaster 3000 be able Ooh, to take the, the good side? Of it? Hover? No, not quite. <laughs> He's hitting the random button too. Yeah. Ooh, and I like that the least of <laughs> I, anything they have. I think I agree with that actually. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But I mean, it. I do see the idea. You have the Zack going in with the Kiana. You can kind of just like wombo those two against a Singer though. But I, I do I don't think it's happening. not think. Yeah, uh, you know what? I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. I'll be proven wrong. Maybe it is a Sindra. Mordekaiser? I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay. I can vote. I have not seen Mordekaiser vs. Graves. I think it's probably Graves favored, but it could be Mordekaiser favored. It's uh, Mordekaiser is really oppressive with his ult in that 1v1, really just able to beat somebody up. But Senna makes it hard for him to ult people. And the Trindamir. Oh. That changes a okay, lot. Okay, so it is a Syndra bot lane. It looks like it, yeah. The Senna Syndra bot lane, I guess, or, or something. I have. I mean, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so Graves Smith <laughs> I don't is know. my guess. And the Trindamir was the more to Kaiser counter. No, I think it's probably Trindamir versus Kiana, is what I would guess. Yeah, yes. okay, yeah, okay, okay. okay. So. That's really good because Kiana can pretty much never kill Trindamere with her ult because they can just trade ults and Trindamere will just smack her. True. Uh, yeah, I don't really so know weird. the direction for Harper's comp here because Mordekaiser stealing somebody kind of hi hinders the Jinx from being able to get a reset. But, I mean, I guess if the Zac kiana works out, then maybe it's fine. But there's a lot of kill denial on the side of KU, so... I'm definitely really interested to see how this game will shake out. Much different draft. Absolutely. After this the first be, couple picks. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. All right. <clears throat> so, once again, we do have to wait for the spectator delay. So, we're going to take a little bit of a break, but we will be back when that is over.
and welcome back. Game two is underway. We are a mere 30 seconds in and a very typical five-point start from both teams here. Yes, we do actually get to see the start of the game this time around, which is exciting. <laughs> I missed it. I didn't know I, I could I could miss something so much. Do you have that Mastery 6 on the Trindomir show? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay. See, I wonder if he thinks that somebody's watching him or if he thought the stream was watching him. So he flashed that Mastery 6. Either way, I respect it. I respect the BM. Yep. Uh, Looks like no cheese here. Nice and clean start from both teams. Yep. <laughs> we'll be. Uh, the Zach will definitely be starting bot side. He is running down there right now. They have people around there. I assume that Trundle is going to start the red buff. Maybe leashless. Nope. We'll get that leash. Uh, so we do have jungler starting on opposite sides of the map. Maybe we'll not meet early in the game. Obviously with the Scuttle Crab change, making it much weaker. You don't really <laughs> lose the game at level 1 anymore. That is a Trindomir skin. Wow. I have not seen that in game. That is... Well, that's wow. like the old one. Like the like the, like the the legendary one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god, the damage <laughs> from both these midland champions. Jeez. Everyone, mm -hmm. like, everyone's favorite mechanic with Trindomir is that he can just randomly crit you at level 1. That's true, that's, uh, I love that mechanic. I think it's a really good game to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the kerfuffle going on. some smacking going on. It's going to get a little bit scary. Kiana has that ignite. You do want to be a little bit careful if you're Trindomir, <laughs> but... So the goal down here with Senna Syndra is to really make these two not have a good time. <laughs> that is your goal. And I think there's enough time to say this. So... One thing I heard while watching the the LEC is that, or maybe it was the LCS, one of the two, mm -hmm. Yumi is the kale of support, where okay. you need to get out of lane in order to be useful, because that's really when you're you're the most useful, and in lane it's not necessarily the strongest champion. Sky of the Week does miss there, but picking a lane that can just hard boy them, like this Senna Syndra is... Something I hope we can see more of. Mm -hmm. It looks really disgusting. Like, really <laughs> annoying to play against. <laughs> so far, so even. Yeah. Trundle falling a little bit behind on the old jungle CS. Well, we do have an invade topside, it looks like. <clears throat> Ooh. Zach does manage to get the stun off of the blast cone. That's a different comp, never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that Ignite used? Ignite yeah. Used. Kiana, I, I guess, thought she was going to land that uh, land that Q. Does, in fact, miss it, so the Ignite does end up being wasted. Top lane, Ooh, though. Ooh, Mordecai is starting to walk at this here, Graves. Both able to do a fair bit of damage, though. Okay. Flash will have to be used. Does get out uh, safely, though. So it's just a little bit of an overextension there from the Graves. You know Zack is top. You don't really need to be that far up. You're trying to fix your wave, it, it's, it makes sense. Um, but a good hold on the flash there to, you just wait for the Mordekaiser to Q and then you flash away mm -hmm. and you get out, just burning that. The wave will crash top lane and, and he'll get to be fine, but we do have a bot dive. Mm -hmm. Trundle is coming down bot lane. We'll see if he has the health to tank this here turret. <clears throat> so far so good, exhaust used. He will oh. get away though. I don't think the burn is, oh. nope, not quite. Yumi is all alone. Whole lot of damage, but not able to finish her off. All right, so the Yumi living there is definitely good for Harper, but Trundle being able to get out by the skin of his teeth, wow. I was really expecting him to die there. Same, yeah. Sintra picking up that kill is definitely a, a good accelerator here and shutting down that Jinx early, making her lose some minion waves, picking up that <clears throat> tower plate. Uh, I like to see that attention on the bot lane here. Both junglers have congregated mid. Yeah. Uh, one of the things with Kiana is that she's really not a champion until level 3, and then she is like, like she's really able to fight, and then she hits level 6, and it becomes really oppressive when she can just kind of go on you. Trindomir goes even deep. Not quite level 6, though, so can't quite go all the way. Does drain that Fury Bar for 200 HP, though. That's very cool. <laughs> You know, Trindomir used to be my permaban. I wish. Makes sense. I wish for those. Those were simpler times. 
having when Trendomir was the most annoying thing in the game. Ooh. Wave getting shoved in here, bot lane, sent a, up perhaps a little bit too far. Doesn't really get punished for it, just takes a little bit of damage. But that mm. Ooh. Scatter the weak. Not quite reaching that dark sphere looked like. Honestly, I mean these these dark spheres are doing so much damage. The fortunate thing for for Jinx here is that even though Yumi oh, oh my oh, gosh never mind a lot of damage coming out <laughs> from the Syndra there that's a that's a whole lot heal used by the Yumi she'll be able to get away yet again. Yumi is maybe not maybe tanky is not the right word deceptively even if or even if it's just deceptively but her E does heal her for quite a lot of health and gives her the zoomies yes <laughs> that but that was definitely just an overextension from from the yeah, bot lane there yeah. really no reason to be up that far ooh, ooh the ult will be used by the Mordekaiser Graves is now stuck inside hell and it looks like that's gonna be Graves taken care of <clears throat> Trinomir has hit level 6 he's going deep on the Kiana here we'll see if he goes any further so, the Clapmaster 3000 getting a little bit of revenge on last game. Or getting a little bit of revenge for that uh, 1v1 kill last game. Getting a 1v1 kill of his own. Mm -hmm. But, KU will get that mid push. Move down towards that Mountain Dragon. And, uh, you essentially trade the top laner for the Dragon. Yep. As the jungler has to move up there and then take his reset. Mm -hmm. So, not the worst thing in the world, but Mordekaiser mm -hmm. getting accelerated is definitely not great. Especially when, I've just noticed this, he did all of that damage with zero bonus AP. I guess maybe nine. Nine from Roots. I'll give him that. <laughs> you do move in and steal his red buff. That's give impressive. it to the to the Trindomir. Now, I'm waiting for the moment where Trindomir runs at somebody. <laughs> and I'm steals too. his lunch money. So far, the Mordekaiser's job Ooh. has been to run at people, but soon shall be the Trindomir's time. His longer trades that, that the Graves is able to keep the Mordekaiser at arm's reach definitely do go in his favor, as you would kind of expect. Mordekaiser, Mordekaiser hasn't been able to get his base off since that kill, it looks like, so he hasn't been able to gain any strong, get, get any stronger. <clears throat> uh, kind of crazy that the CS bot lane is as close as it is. Obviously, it's deceptively close because that large wave that's about to go over to Syndra, but kudos to the Jinx for staying within probably 10, uh, about 10, having died twice and really not being able to do anything. Ooh, Flash used by the sun as she's looking for the, for the root but doesn't get it. <clears throat> Ooh, Zach's Ooh. looking and does manage to hit the, uh, the Senna there, and that's looking... Pretty ugly. Oh, oh. Ah, Zach Flash will manage to finish her off. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> not looking pretty. <clears throat> Trinibur's trying to get. A, uh, does manage to get the secure. The Zach plays. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, oh. but the Cinder damage. Just right. managed to finish off the Yumi. Nice the pickup there. Dives deep. <laughs> and that will be it. Taken care of. Will ult need to be used? Yes, is the answer. Okay, so that was overall a two for two with the solo kill in mid. Uh, the Syndra being able to pick up that additional kill on the end onto the Yumi that was off of somebody for some reason uh, definitely saves that because you have the overextension from the Senna, thinking she can continue to go forward with the Zac right there, and also the Trundle, maybe falling victim to the same thing. Mm -hmm. But that 1v1 kill really showing the strength of Trindomir just running at you under your own turret. Not really anything you can do about it. Always a very fun thing to deal with. It is a little bit unfortunate that both those kills went over to the Zac here. Looks like he is building tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you would have much rather than that. A lot of damage. Change. Zach will use the smite, try to slow oh. down the Trindomir here a little bit further. And that's going to be it for the Trindomir. So he does go down up a little bit too far without without vision on, on the jungler. Uh, just like an overextension, really. That's kind of how a lot of these skills come down to it. It's just wrong place at the wrong time. Or right place at the right time if you look at the other angle of it. But, <clears throat> oh. Sun is running mid. Looking I don't to know pick about up this one. Kiana. Root will land, but that's a whole lot of damage from the Kiana. Wow. 
<clears throat> Senna might be an annoying champion, but she's not a very tanky <laughs> champion. Zach goes in deep, does manage to stun both of KU's team here. Oh. <laughs> Graves flash. Ult will be oh. used. First kill picked up, Kiana. Zach passive has been engaged. We'll see if they can pick up the actual Zach himself. He's coming back online. Oh. And it's not gonna matter though, Graves does get dangerously low, man just manages to get out. Trindamir's back here, looks like that oh. Oh. <laughs> almost oh. able to get away with the last left there, but not quite oh. and it's the jinx rocket at the last second. Okay. Mm. So I really have no idea what just occurred. <laughs> Honestly. Uh there's a big fight, a bunch of people died. Uh Senna gaming. And KU come out with a 4,000 gold lead at 11 minutes. Wow. That's mm -hmm. not what I, was I felt like that was largely equal. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. I mean, there's still, like, large gaps in bot lane. But... Zach passive is not online. <laughs> he will get caught out. Trindamere ult engaged. We'll see if it's then enough. <laughs> Heal used. I think he will be able to get out, but the Kiana damage and the Zach is oh. there. Oh, devastated. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> the CC chain coming from this Kansas bot lane. All right. Disgusting stuff. Herald drop. That will be the first turret down. So, mm -hmm. Senna took two tower shots and is now at 1% of her HP. So definitely not a uh, not a tanky champion. True, true. Uh, that, that tower going over to KU, giving some money over. Mm -hmm. Syndra does base for that Leandris. Mm -hmm. Craig's maybe caught out here. I think he's got any. Not Should quite. Okay. So Jake's definitely feeling really bad down about 15 CS with not, or with just the pickaxe and the name of an item that is escaping me. <laughs> uh, a little bit sad, but oh. Oh, that's a lot of damage from the Kiana. It's so deceptive. Graves gets deleted. Senna wants round two versus Kiana. No way nope. she takes it. Nope. Kiana's three levels up. Nah, well, I mean, last time it went very poorly. <laughs> I mean, but the, the extended Zach's fine. behind, though. I don't think he'll have his passive here. Ult engaged, knocking up the Senna. Not going to be enough to get a kill, though. They do opt to chase the Senna back under her turrets where she can get out for just the low, low price of her heal. And the Syndra is able to walk out without using her flash or anything. So you, defi mm -hmm. you definitely like that. They are four bot. Maybe positioned to try to contest this dragon. <clears throat> Harper would like... really like their first dragon of the series here. Yeah, but it looks like maybe they will just walk out. So right here we have... Oh, actually, we've got a couple people roaming up to that top lane trying to get all 15 plates. That would be, that'd be really impressive. Mm -hmm. It looks like they will get it and get the dragon. Wow. While some of these fights have maybe gone even, it looks like KU are really just... Out playing across Ooh, the map, Zach. Uh, a little bit close. I thought about it. Not close at all, actually. Not even close. <laughs> uh, the kill score is close. The gold is not close, and the objective score is not close. Curiously, no objective bounties. Uh, so far, we'll see. Last game, last game, the gold was closer, and they got them. But this game, it's farther apart. With a worse map state, they're not online quite yet. Maybe think... they can only come online. After plates have fallen. Yeah, it might be at 14 minutes. Yep, though. at 14 minutes, they... Yeah, yeah they are coming they are soon. Coming. Okay. Checks out. Yeah, I uh, I know League of Legends stuff. I know my I know my stuff. We play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so the next thing of importance here is that second Rift Herald. Although, with all three Tier 1 turrets dead, it kind of... The priority on it goes a little bit down unless you're trying to get that... <clears throat> that inner turret money. But for the side of Harper, you're definitely trying to get one of these one of these objective bounty shutdowns on a, on a on a turret. So maybe they try to go for this Rift Herald. We have a bit they have kind of a 1-4 for both teams. Graves taking his base right now. I'm really interested to see like kind of the angle for, for Harper. What, yeah, this is tricky. Because the hope for them is that they can just kind of go in with Zack. Maybe he has Yumi on him, and that can kind of lock people up for the Kiana to go in. Mm -hmm. But it, it really feels kind of hard. Ooh, Zack engages on the Trindamir. Trindamir ease away, but Zack cues him back. 
rising tensions. I feel everything bubbling up. Well, I love when they like walk, when they like walk at the Trindomere, and then Trindomere is like running away, and he's like, "Oh no, I'll turn around," and then they they both turn around at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's not now they're walking away. I think it's funny. Like, oh, do you want to <laughs> fight me or do you not want to fight me? Face me, mortal. Ooh, oh. Jinx is not <laughs> looking good here. Forgets that that first tower was complete missing. Yeah, definitely wanting or seeing that cannon minion and really wanting to take it and being punished for being up that far. Mm-hmm. Definitely think the Kraken Slayer in this game is the wrong choice. Last game it was good because they didn't really have any dive to get on them. So there's no real reason to build the Gale Force, but in a game where you're behind and you have this Trindomir that's going to spin on you, or, or even the Syndra who can just hit you with the spell from forever away, would definitely think that the uh, the Gale Force is much better. What do you think? I, I'm with you. I think I think the itemizations on Jinx here are not ideal for being behind. Yeah, I don't think it necessarily would change the result of the game so far, but it is a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, There's something the, to point out. The issue becomes we need the Kiana to carry. Oh, Trindomir fancies <laughs> himself a one before. <laughs> A lot is easy for both teams here. Kiana Ooh. damage connects. Ooh, the Trindomir turns it around. Ult engaged, will pick up the Kiana. Let's see if he's able to get away. A flash used by the sack will pick up the Trindomir. <clears throat> Ooh, and the Trundle getting low, but oh, not quite. Looks like the Syndra's gonna make it out with her life, but a Zack passive will be used. Syndra potentially looking for more here. Doesn't know. Oh, a flash does have to be used. Another flash by the enemy team, and that's going to be the Syndra shutdown as well. Wow. Interesting. So, that was like the best case scenario for Harper. You have the Kiana alone with the bot lane, able to just one-shot the Senna and kind of take the Syndra out of the fight. And in a 4v5, it, it goes over 1 for 5 to Harper. Yeah. They pick up that... that I mean, it wasn't officially an ace because the Syndra respawned, but it is definitely an ace. Just an overextension... Maybe thinking they have the the look in that fight, but really they were just too far forward, and I I guess it was just a bad angle with the Kiana not really being known where she is. So it's a little bit worrying. The gold is less than it was before. Now just over mm-hmm. what three thousand, four thousand. Yep. Uh, so I love smaller, but. I love so what's happening right now, which is Kansas has respawned after a ugly fight, mm-hmm. and they are continuing to be just as aggressive as ever. Yes. They have not let that go into their heads. They are fully aware that despite circumstances, they are still ahead. They need to push this advantage a little bit more. <clears throat> Looking at objectives here, Dragon's about to come online. Yeah, I uh, I agree with that. They have that second Herald. They're opting to trade this Dragon, which is a very mm-hmm. good idea. They they have oh, the track the, the they have the easiest track into mid lane. Really can just zone off the whole team. Yep. Get get a Nexus turret. <laughs> Graves is preoccupying the enemy team while their team pushes forward. Oh, that's gonna be Graves picked up, not able to get out cleanly. Kansas will have to disengage, but the Herald will get one last charge. Oh Ooh, not quite. <laughs> no it will not. I think that is probably the best you can make of that situation. You have the Rift Herald. You want to get something out of it. You get two mid turrets and an inhibitor. You do have to give over that dragon, but as it's Harper's first dragon, not the biggest deal in the world. It does delay your soul, but it, it's really fine. <clears throat> Trindomir opting to go 1v1 on this. Mordekaiser locking Mordekaiser. himself in there. I don't know why an ult was used. Zax there does sidestep the E, but a Jinx <laughs> rocket from down to down finishes off the trend of it. And the Undying Rage still up. I know, that's so sad. Opts not to use it, or maybe... I mean, he probably just didn't see the Jinx rocket coming. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Really interesting that Mordekaiser would opt to use the Realm of Death at that point. Like, if you're already half HP and your teammate is right there, you should opt to leave that one up, because <laughs> Trendomir will just beat you up yeah. inside of that ult, yeah. which did happen. Uh does end up going down but overall like not really that big of a deal you would like to see him use the undying rage there and live the jinx rocket but there's no guarantee that he even gets out so i won't harp on him too much for that <laughs> 
20 minutes has occurred. Baron has Baron spawned. is online. Yeah, walk into Trundle, eat those minions. Trundle, Trundle, Trundle. <laughs> so we have just, like, some calm on the map. Very cool. Waiting for some stuff to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, as with the Baron spawning, we're able to see some contests over. Kiana Ooh. does a lot of damage. Heal used by the son of there. Graves will disengage, but he's looking for more. Zackle does need to be popped. We're looking to turn around. Oh, the root does hit. Oh. <clears throat> Trundle gets rooted. We'll see what they can make of it. Oh, the trade is in. Ult engaged. Not quite finding the Jinx here. He'll probably go down. Oh, and the oh. Syndra gets cut out from the back. That's ugly. That's ugly. And another fight going the way of Harper in that blue side, or in that blue jungle. <clears throat> it... It, it, the angle looks good initially. You want to maybe try and chase down that Jinx. They do get it, but with that Realm of Death cooldown coming up, Mordekaiser is just able to remove the uh, the Trindamere from the fight. Uh -huh. Trundle is in the area. Can maybe steal it. Oh, he's going for it. Burger Gets flip. the root off. Ah. Not quite able to do it, though. Zach does secure that. Flash used. Will manage to get out. That's good news. Oh, and flash by the Kiata. Flash by the Graves. Not quite able to get a kill. Okay. This Kiana only has one completed item, and she is doing so much so damage. So strong. What is she about to complete here? Ghostblade. Oof. Okay. So, that gold lead has now closed to just over 1,000 with the mm -hmm. two lost fights in a row and the Baron going over. We got ourselves a game. Yeah, we got ourselves <laughs> a series, I guess. Um, so... Can you really need to look to kind of stabilize the game? It's hard at this point where it's it's 22 minutes in. You've already taken the mid inhibitor, so it's hard to like group somewhere where you're like, okay, well, there's nothing really for us to take here. So it's easier like, well, it's a worse map state. <laughs> it, it makes one lane easier to defend when one of them is already broken open, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, Syndra is very good at clearing Baron minions. She just does so much damage with that, especially with that Leandris, able to kind of burn them down, dealing the bonus damage to them. Mordekaiser will take out this bot first turret. That is the first turret of the game for Harper. Maybe we'll spell their comeback. I mean, their comeback has already happened. They've already depleted that entire 6k gold Ooh, lead. Zach Ooh. engages, gets the root off. That's going to be an ugly double kill. That's the goal, I guess, with the Wombo, is you just have the Zack go in with yep. Yumi on top of him, and then... Ooh, Mordekaiser gets a really good engage here. Trundle will get out, though, with his epic speed. I'm not... I guess Mordekaiser just gave up on him, so he's going to try to push it that way and get back to base. Kiana's thirsty for this Trindamir. Ultimate will be popped. We'll see if she can outlast it, though. Not looking Ooh. pretty. Yeah. That Kiana, with, she just has so much time to stall the Trindamir yeah. with those <clears throat> grass cues. Mordekaiser will flash ult onto this poor, poor troll. <clears throat> that's a lot of damage oh. coming out, and yeah, that's going to be another one of Kansas falling. Yeah, this game really kind of fell apart really quickly with those two overextensions, the, the two fights that did not go their way. That Kiana got insanely fed. The Zac just does so much damage. And it really feels like uh, this game may kind of be over with the Harper up 3,000 gold. You would have thought that earlier, but Jinx is now back into the game. Syndra wasn't really able to get much with the advantage that they had gotten bot lane. Is definitely unfortunate. I don't think they're necessarily out of it. You can still get a catch onto someone like the Kiana or the Jinx and then maybe try to fight with the numbers advantage. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely getting a little bit dicey. Kansas, Two dragons now. Kansas has learned their lesson. They're being a little bit more passive than usual here. Yeah. Just less so much pressure on the map with those two mid turrets gone. We'll maybe see uh, Harper look to group around those top turrets, maybe try to push those out, and then have the leverage point be bot lane for when Baron comes back up. That's what I would expect. But with that top wave pushed out so far... No, they have the time for it, so I expect that's what we will see. 
<clears throat> Ooh. Trendemir opting for the Sereldus Grudge here. Interesting. I feel like... I mean, I'm not an expert on Trendemir. I never will claim to be an expert on Trendemir. I feel like I'd rather have an IE. But the Armor Pen is definitely going to feel very good if you're hitting Zack or Mordekaiser. Or even, even Jinx, just kind of hitting her for more damage. It's never a, never a bad thing, but... Uh, maybe we'll see the I, IE or Essence Reaver or something like that come out afterwards. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no objectives on the board currently. Each team patiently farming. Farming, pushing waves, figuring out what they want to do. Scuttle Crab's coming up. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll flip the game at Scuttle Crab. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Absolutely. They took away, they took away my right to flip the game at Level three. Ooh, the Zack engage happening onto the graves. That will be a clean kill. Not really a whole lot he can do about that. Meanwhile, Kansas Ooh. does manage to take out the Kiana. That's a pretty good trade. That is huge. The graves is really not worth any money at this point. The top lane turret is not like it's not as important anymore. And that big shutdown on the Kiana going over to Trindamir is huge because mm -hmm. Trindamir is your your AD damage right now. You need him to be strong, so getting that Ooh. money and the 600 gold from the turret. Pretty. He's gonna have a lot of money. He's got the Ooh, Zach's here though, does manage to get the knock up. That's a whole lot of stun. Oh, oh. but a Sabite will take out the Trindamir. Again, with the Undying Rage not quite being used. I do hate to see it twice in a row mm -hmm. now, but maybe, ex maybe not expecting the smite to come out, thinking he's out and just instant it's a little 70 true damage kind of catching him off i'm happy this zach is repping the cause you know his performance has been stellar <laughs> the cause of zach means the cause the cause well uh the ultimate weapon is what uh, we in the business like to call yeah, yeah yeah i understand <laughs> i'm not actually a zach main so i wouldn't have done that so i'm sorry <laughs> all right now what baron Baron. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they get to start Baron and kill the Graves. <laughs> Graves once again getting caught out. Ooh. Likely going to die, but does manage to squeak away oh. until... Uh, oh. It's the third time. <laughs> He's in. Doesn't quite get the steal off. Trundle will fall, and it is not looking good for Kansas. <laughs> Harper do opt for the burger flip twice in a row, and it lands for them twice in a row so now they will take baron and they will march down presumably mid lane and try to end while graves and trundle are still dead a little bit surprised that trindamir is opting to go down to the bot lane maybe they're opting for a base race i don't know if Ooh, he's trying to catch the kiana out here mm -hmm. oh looks like they will have a kerfuffle but that's oh. a lot of damage alt used and that's probably gonna be it for him oh. a flash engaged will have a little bit of mobility out of here both of these champions just able to climb over walls and chase one another. Blast cone? No. Uh, <laughs> he misses it. Oh, no. Dreadful. Okay. Oh, that's going to be game. Yeah. It looks to be, with the Trindomir dead, not really much anybody else can do at this point. They do clear these minions out, so they will get to live for an, another wave. And Kiana, with no ult, does slightly less in these team fights. <clears throat> Harper does opt to disengage and go on to this. Dragon. Yeah, I think it's it's the safe play. You're you're now ahead five thousand gold. You want to move yourself into soul point. Really make sure there's no way for Ku to come back into the game. Kind of eliminating that win condition. Mm -hmm. And this being, if if it goes the extra five minutes for the Infernal Soul, an Infernal Soul for Infernals, Kiana. <laughs> that champion hurts. That, that champion hurts quite a bit. So, th so one thing I'm just now noticing that I do want to make note of is the experience gaps and the level differences. We do have like four levels in top Whoa. lane and two levels in bot or for the ADCs. Wow! Definitely, kind of telling the story of this game where they were maybe ahead earlier in the game and not really able to transition that that lead into something else. <clears throat> Getting Zach engage engages. On. Kiana will hit for a lot of damage on the Senna. Pops her out of existence. Oh. 
Trinibir doing what he can. Ult engaged. Will get the Jinx Flash, but it's not going to be enough. Does get taken out. Syndra pops his onions. Will not matter. And that's going to wrap things up. <clears throat> so they do get the kill on the Kiana, but unfortunately this Zack is just such a large blob of goo. That's my boy. Goo man or something. And really just able to <laughs> run over the fights and allow Jinx to just sit and what I thought was a bad idea with the Kraken Slayer, it turns out she really is just kind of able to just sit there. So this is why I'm not a ADC player. Yep. Harper will now wail on these turrets. Not a care in the world. Yeah. And that will be game two, going over to the side of Harper. We got ourselves a series. We got ourselves a series. <laughs> <laughs> they tie it up over, they tie it up at one to one. And yeah. It looked like a really good game for us. It did, it did. We had the really good early game. We had a good start. We were up 6,000 gold, up tremendously. Yep. And just a couple bad looks. Uh, and kind of like the transition from early into mid game really just spelled the disaster for, for us. That's tough luck, but that means a game three. Yep, our Stay first game excited. three. Woo! Our first game three. Let's go. Curious to see what the adaptation will be from KU mm -hmm. now that they're on the back foot. Perhaps moving back to that blue side, and maybe maybe that's just the key, the blue side. The blue but side. We'll find out in a couple minutes when we're back for game three. So don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back for game three. It's definitely a little bit of a shorter break. I am by myself currently. Uh, ben just had to he had to go to the bathroom. He'll be back soon. But for right now, you get to hear my beautiful, beautiful voice. Oh, never mind. I'm coming. He's back. There was no problem. Anyways, KU back on the blue side. Harper back onto the red side. And we are getting a different ban from KU here. We are getting the Zack removed along with that Scion. I do like it. I think that Zack was extremely oppressive in the last game. You gosh darn right the Zack was oppressive. Oh yeah. <clears throat> That's his job. That's what he do. <laughs> and now he's back. Right now he's banned. I like it. Xin Zhao taking off the table. Good. 
<laughs> and, and the Yumi. Yumi. So we do have Caitlyn left open. I don't remember what the uh, other one. Or it was Lulu. It was Caitlyn and Lulu last game that were last banned. Game, yeah. So both Caitlyn and Lulu are open. Up to ban Jinx. Twitch is open. See if we get that Twitch pick. Twitch do it. and Lulu. You know you want. You know you want the Twitch. <laughs> it's a little bit risky. Yeah, but... I mean, first pick Twitch isn't necessarily meta. First pick Lulu. However, I, I like that a little I bit better. It a bit. Higher priority, perhaps. Uh, not you're not looking like. I don't think the Twitch is necessarily going to be taken away. But I'm curious what the response will be here. It is going to be Caitlyn. Was left open. True. So that's the hover right now. I I would expect that to get locked in. Yeah. Yep. Caitlyn. Maybe we see like a Caitlyn Lux, Caitlyn Morgana. One of these really bully Caitlyn lanes that are just trying to shove you into your turret over and over and over again. But we'll see. Maybe we get something other than support locked in here. I want to see Caitlyn Morgana. I don't know how good it is currently. <laughs> Caitlyn Lux is probably better. But I'll see something. About equal. Karma? Caitlyn sure. Karma. Sure. It, it's a little bit similar, but it, but it doesn't have that, that just skill shot root the same way that Lux and Morgana do. So if you do end up getting the the root from the chain on Karma, then you can place down that trap. But if not, Ooh, then well, Twitch getting hovered. Twitch is the hover. We do expect that to get locked in. It's perhaps a little bit of a weaker lane because Twitch versus Caitlyn, but Lulu definitely will make up for some of that. And you know, Twitch scales extremely, extremely hard with that invisibility, with his items, with just being good. <laughs> with that sweet, sweet support item. And Victor will not have a chance to be banned, as it wow. will be locked in here blind. Okay. I like it. Okay. I think it's the right call. On flu side. On the side. control mage in game one with the Oriana looked a lot better than the Trindamir in game two. So I do like the... Um, I do like the look here with the Victor, with the change. We are okay. getting treated a three-game series... With unique drafts every time. Yeah, we are. We are spoiled. <laughs> we are spoiled. We are never going to get this now, again. Now, we'll be really spoiled if we win this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you win some, you lose some, you know? Yeah, that's true, I, that's true. We're here for the draft. Yeah, we're here for the draft. <laughs> it is Trundle the lock-in for Harper. Um, we've seen this Trundle all three games. True. Here is a blind pick, so it's a little bit less no. good. But if they end up picking a tank, then it works in itself, and you can't pick yourself, but... As we saw, the Trundle kind of pick into the Zac didn't really work last game. So maybe you just go Trundle because you're like, I want to play Trundle. <laughs> maybe that's it. <laughs> but the Shen taken off again. I like it. Shen was really good in game one. Still don't want to he give was. it over. He was, yes. <clears throat> Here's what the ban will be here. Maybe you get rid of some of these melee mids like Silas okay. or Kiana. All right. Okay. Historically, we have beaten out the top lane. Opting for the mid against the victor, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Will we see a Corky mm -hmm. ban? Corky. Maybe? Maybe we'll see Snooze Fest Victor Corky. <laughs> An Orn ban. Okay, okay. Again, the Kled is open. Maybe we'll see that. Maybe they don't want to go for it, but I would like to see the She Completes Me Kled. That would be nice. He did have it open the last two games. Yes. And opted not to. So, I'd be surprised if we saw it here. But, holding out hope. And the rock, once again, taken off the table. Mm -mm. Don't think I need to explain it for a third time. <laughs> Big rock man, go choo-choo. And the pick on four, the blind. I'm assuming probably blind mid, because you your top lane has been, like, kind of the catalyst for this team, it looked like. Maybe the reason they weren't able to find success, but it is the Kiana. I think it's good here. Kiana coming back. It worked so well for them in the, game two. Yeah. And now you have a target you can actually kill <laughs> with with the Victor. Of course, Victor is able to bully the Kiana a little bit easier than the Trindamir is, but if you are able to find the angle, you can definitely do it. I hope we see Crown of the Shadow Queen here. Ooh! The Portland Kindred! Makes its return. Wow. And the Kled Hover. And the Kled Hover? Oh my gosh, we're so spoiled. What the heck? Let's see it. Come on. Come on. I think it fits the comp, for what it's worth. 
Yeah. <laughs> Big man runs Big in. Yes. Okay, we oh get the clip. God. Okay. Okay. It's happening. Everyone stay calm. Last semester, last year, whatever, we saw the Portland Kindred quite a few times. We it did, was very did. good. Always a carry on that Kindred. And we have the Kled for the top lane. Get to really see him be unleashed on his pick. I really like this draft. It seems it's just comfort all around for the side of KU. Mm-hmm. And for for Harper, maybe more comfort with the Caitlyn coming back up and really just picking what worked for them last game with the Kiana and like the tank jungle. So I think both teams are happy with their position uh, as a KU biased we're, we're a little caster. Biased. As we're, a KU biased a caster, bit. we are hyped <laughs> to see the Kled come out for the first time. The Kled, the Twitch Lulu combo we saw in yep. the first week. Porcelain back on the Kindred. Just got to remind Harper why it is these champions are banned versus us. <laughs> yep, and yep. with that, we will wait for the spectator delay once again. So we will be back here in a couple minutes. So please do not go anywhere.
and welcome back to game three of this best of three. Both teams tied one to one, and potentially a little bit of cheese coming out. <clears throat> I like cheese. Actually, yeah, I'll say it. I don't I, like. I actually don't like cheese. Wow. Like real cheese. Anti cheese. But like cheese in a game like this is always cool. Yep. Yep. Uh, it is a little bit. I mean, like, you expect maybe something a little bit cheesy will be going on with the game three. You're like, okay, maybe we can just try and flip the game at level one, try to get a kill, mm -hmm. and slow it, snowball it from there. But KU will have none of that, as they will not face check this bottom brush. <laughs> I hope. Oh, a little bit of patience, followed by progression. You know, I really hope they just, like, commit to it and just chill here. Okay, no. <laughs> They're gone. That'd be something. You're trying to get a ward, maybe in the, that topside jungle or something. All right. So, so I do want to note the summoner spells. We do have the TP Ignite top lane. Definitely looking for that kill. And notably, we have an exhaust in the mid lane, which I'm a huge fan of. Exhaust is so broken. It's such a good summoner spell, and especially versus something like Hiana, where she jumps on you, you can drop the exhaust, drop your three spells... To proc your phase rush and just run away and then you do you do go down that summoner but it is like overall good because you don't die so i really like that from from jay's here both junglers opting to start blue here getting a little bit of deja vu from the previous two games and they do anticipate or they they do predict that it seems we at least you see some pings on that blue buff Ooh. Ooh. both of these bot lanes have a pretty strong level one so, I'm a little bit shocked that it was as close as it was, honestly. But uh, Twitch with the with the longsword three potion start will is a little bit more eager to take those trades as get that region from the potion. They do hit level two first against Caitlyn, which is a little bit surprising. But I guess we have been seeing the bot lane go the way of <laughs> KU all series. Uh, unfortunately, we will not see Ooh. the Twitch support item. Trundle's here, though. He's level 3. Trying to make a play. Trundle is a level 3. And there's a lot of CC on this Twitch here. It's not looking pretty. That's going to be first blood over to the Caitlyn. <clears throat> Lulu will escape under tower. So, they do know... Ooh, I'll hold on that. <laughs> Kled gets level 3 first. Does a little bit of poke on the Gragas, Ooh. but the turret's there. Ooh. Victor, potentially. So, they do know that the Trundle has not gone into his top side because they had that ward. So I guess they must think, okay, he's not... Like, surely he won't run bot lane and kill us right now. Unfortunately, he does, and... Twitch <laughs> goes down for first blood. Won't miss that huge wave. Does get back in time for that, thankfully. Uh, and other than that, we are seeing top go a little bit better. Ooh, a little bit of a jungler scuffle here in the bot river. Victor is there to finish things off, though. That's going to be a kill going over to Kindred. Good that, stuff. That's actually really huge because, I don't know if you've noticed, but at the start of the game, Kindred marked the Trundle. So that is a mark already. D that's wasn't really able to get the Skuttle Crab, but does get that mark over on the Trundle, which is which is very good if you're Kindred. You want to hit those four mark marks as soon as possible. You get a very substantial power increase on four marks. Ooh. Scarl. So for those of you who don't know much about Kled, as he... Oh, I'll hold that thought. <laughs> Trundle sees potential here. Kindred getting dangerously low. Smite will come online. Flash used. It's not going to be enough. Victor's there. Does <laughs> flash onto the enemy. Ignite used by the Kiana, it's not gonna matter, and that is Ooh. probably gonna be another kill. Going over to the Gragas, though. Okay, so... Worst things have happened. I think the invade on that red buff is definitely a little bit overzealous from Kindred there. Does end up dying, and then Victor gets baited up there, and does end up falling himself. Clutch trying to back, but does get caught off by the Gragas. This is tragic. Can he remount? He does get the remount off. We'll see if he can escape, potentially with a kill. Ooh. Probably not enough damage this early on, though. Did miss Ooh, that the bear trap there. on a rope. <clears throat> Markiplier, that's a lot of damage to the Kindred. Ooh. Will pick up the Trindamere. Can she finish off? Can they finish off? Okay, The yeah. Gragas. It's looking pretty good. 
dodge, duck, roll. Okay. Completed. And the scuttle crab is marked, so that will get to be a second mark for Kindred. And I really have no idea how to how to call this game, as <laughs> we see the Kindred and Victor gun red buff and in the game away, and then we see them play on top lane that takes forever because of the Kled remount, and then they hit the game away to the Kindred. So, so far, we've yeah, gotten the knows? Fiesta. In, the Kiana damage. Kiana does on. this upfront damage, and if Victor's able to get her <laughs> off of him... Kled with a bit of an outplay there, managing to get the Gragas to not jump quite as far. A dismount will likely happen there. Kiana does Ooh. engage further, but the cooldowns are Ooh. really long. Does get the stun off. Can Victor finish it off? Both these mid laners have ridiculously long cooldowns. <clears throat> so, that's kind of how Victor wants to play that. He wants to tank the initial burst and then take the longer trade after while Kiana has to walk away. Obviously, if you take too much burst, then you're in a little bit of danger, which is why we're seeing Victor go towards the Seeker's Arm Guard as the first item, I assume. And... Now, Kindred has taken that mark, I assume. I don't think they would be leaving. I think we just I just missed it. So that is, yep, three marks, at least, for Kindred, which is very good at six and a half minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Twitch looking to poke out, but gets the old treatment. That karma damage doing so much work. <clears throat> And here, come. sorry, first dragons come online. Yes, <clears throat> potential there for a play. We do have both junglers in bot side. We have the the trundle kind of pathing his way down, trying to maybe make a play on this bot lane. They might get baited up here by this ward. We'll see. But Kindred is in the area, Ooh, possibly able to help. Karma speeds in, trying to get the root onto the stinky rat man. However, does not manage to hit, and the rat will turn it around. So they decide to call that play off with the Kiana moving, even with the Kiana moving down. But maybe they've changed their mind. They want to try again. <clears throat> Looks like they don't even know if they want to do it. Kiana walking back and forth. <laughs> Looks like this bot lane's a little bit content with wasting the enemy's time here. Kled yeah. trying to push his advantage a little bit more. Both top laners have level 6. Gragas cask used. Not much is going to come out of that, though. Kled will have to disengage. Oh. Does okay. get low, Grok is still looking good. Meanwhile, this bot lane... Disengaged. So they do the four-man bot play, but they just maybe try to push in the wave and make that rotation up for Dragon, which I think is good. Mm -hmm. But you now allow Victor to get the push in mid. And he may... I don't think he will get a plate. He does need to be careful with the with the Kiana right behind him. Mm -hmm. But I think he'll be fine. First drag will go over to the side of Harper. Alright, so now they may make this, because they see the dragon go down, they see the top laner recalling, they may try to make a move for this Rift Herald, which I would like to see, maybe get some turret plates in, into your hand, accelerate one of your laners, maybe if, if I'm Kindred here, I and maybe I'm biased because I'm a mid laner, <laughs> but I would definitely try to get this used mid, because Victor having to go into the Seeker's Arm Guard and delay his mythic, does feel really bad so maybe giving him some extra money would feel really good but i'm sure you could say the same of any of these three lanes that want that really want to be ahead the twitch with that recurve bow i'm not quite sure what this builds into it might be blade of the ruined king returning from uh blade of the ruined king returning from its form in what season eight Back when it was primarily a uh, AD carry item and not so much a fighter item. Kiana started to roam down bot. Oh. Does flash. Ult will miss though. Flash for flash with the Twitch is probably worth it because you don't really need your flash. Maybe next time. Nah, oh. eh, ne not next time, but uh, now <laughs> Twitch is a little bit more vulnerable. You burn the flash and now it's a 2-4 two, two, <laughs> summoner spell bot lane. <clears throat> Lulu has hit level 6. Yes. See As if, has the twitch. See if maybe anything is able to go down with these bot lane level 6s aimed with that twitch flash being down. I'm scared. Ooh. Ooh. Kindred. 
attempted to do something into the mid lane. Doesn't quite happen. We do have a little bit of a pause. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. But now that we have the pause, we can take a step back, take a look at what's going on. So right now it looks like there's about a, what, 700 gold lead for KU. Pretty insignificant, but it is there. Mm -hmm. CS is pretty even top lane. But the Gragas does have two kills from uh, the play on the red buff and the 2v1 on the Kled. Kindred is super fed. I really want to see this fed Kindred able to convert some of that some of that strength into the mid game. Where do you think the Rift Trial is going? Give me your guess. Educated uh, guess. I think it's impossible to call at the time being. Yeah, both these teams are really, really even at the moment. Yeah, sure, the Kindred's a little bit fed, and she's got the potential to roam, push that advantage elsewhere. But there's a whole lot of eager anticipation on the side of uh, Harper here with their Caitlyn about to come online, um, their Kiana ready to just start doing ludicrous amounts of damage here. <clears throat> it's scary, man. It's scary stuff. Yeah, I agree. Um, hmm. I think so. I, I like that you bring up the Caitlyn. Um, they did get that early kill on the Twitch from as a result of that well-timed gank from Trundle, but. If I'm playing a Caitlyn Karma lane, I would really hope to have gotten more than just one kill on a gank. Like Caitlyn being down three CS, like while well, insignificant in an, in that, you would really like to see Caitlyn up a bunch of CS, especially in a lane that she outranges so heavily. And Caitlyn is really at her best when she's able to just hit turret over and over again. So I guess the fact that they're the fact that they're even in CS and pretty comparable in a, in a in their buys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tells me that this Twitch is going to be very strong mm -hmm. later. Kindred does have this Rift Herald eager to pop it down mid. I would suspect. Is that what you think? Uh, she's right there. She's ready to go. I think it's going to happen. Oh, I hope so. Um, As a mid lane main <laughs> myself, I can't and we're say back online. Let's see if it happens. We're back in. Now, we may get a second Riot Games pause, but who knows? Uh-huh, there it is. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a time travel. Hold on. Bear with us. Yeah, this won't this won't take that long. We, uh, we've been here before. <laughs> <clears throat> Riot Games. <laughs> Hop in our DeLorean. But so, take you. <laughs> while we're here, we do see a collapse in mid lane about to occur. Victor does have both sums up, and they... Looks like they will opt to not go for it. Hmm. Mantra Q missing. All right. Kindred's eager to make a play bot side. Do it. Potentially catching up the karma here. A whole lot of damage happening. <clears throat> oh my gosh, just oh. a lot of damage coming down. He will have to be used and not quite able to pick up anything else. Uh, the lack of mobility from the Kansas bot lane that unfortunately causes them to miss out on a kill there. We'll see if they push the turret advantage, though. Ooh, so they do Ooh, lose. Ooh, Victor's here, though. Able to pick up the karma. <clears throat> and the Lamb's Respite saves Kindred from death. They are TPing <laughs> on this TP turret. will come down. Interesting time. They have the Kiana here. The Gragas is here. We'll see if he can do Ooh. anything. A big cask. <clears throat> Exhaust oh. immediately popped, along with a Polymorph. Meanwhile, topside. Thank you, thank you, game, for the Kled kill. Um, while botside disengages. Okay. So, the fact that nobody on KU died in that bot play is really impressive because the Lamb's Respite was used to cancel out that turret shot, and then the Kiana Gragas show up, and the Gragas had a really good explosive cast, and I think the Kiana was trying to find a good angle for her ult, doesn't end up using it at all, probably just gives up after the Polymorph comes through from the Lulu. Uh, really good bot dive. And, yeah. and getting that TP out, I, I think that was a really good play. It's unfortunate that Kled does get beaten up by the Trundle. Gets the lunch money stolen. <laughs> really not having that great of a time. But if I'm if I'm KU and I see my Kindred has Kraken Slayer, I'm happy. And my Twitch already has Blade of the Rune King. Ooh, and... Twitch. Caitlyn barely dodging that stinky stank. Oh, he still wants to keep going. A lot about oh. his speed. A flash will have to be used. 
That's not worth. quite able to get the kill there. Whole lot of damage from the Kiana now at this point. Uh, Kindred will not have ult. Almost didn't able to turn it around, though. Wow. Yeah, this Kindred is very strong. Almost able to turn that play around. Getting surprised by the Kiana. Chippy does so much damage. Um, but, uh, so, as much as it is a little bit bad to see a death like that go over, yeah. it does spell good things. We are like, oh, Kindred was really only able to hit for about two seconds and almost killed the Kiana. So I definitely, I'll try to find the find the uh, the upside in some of these plays, you know. Yep. So that's definitely mm -hmm. some of the upside there. So far, so even though. <clears throat> yeah. Still only like. What seven hundred gold, eight hundred gold separating these two teams. Yeah. Ooh, taking that Everfrost. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Finally, opting to crash this tower. Last turret plate secured on there. Ocean Drake. They know what's happening. Out. Trundle looking engaged. Doesn't quite get there in time. We get to see a dragon <laughs> the fight. Victor gets Lulu ulted. Whole lot of damage coming in here. <clears throat> Victor secures the Trundle initially. Twitch is there for a little bit of poke damage. And the Karma goes down off screen, I assume, to that Chaos Storm. Really good fight. I think. Uh, Harper feel good about the contest there, and then it just kind of falls away. Victor may be dropping, like, just kind of inviting it, really baiting them <laughs> into coming in, and yeah, he just drops yeah. that gravity field with the Lulu ult on top of it, and he's at full HP after the Trundle running on top of him, so definitely a good play. Sitting at 3 and 1, probably about to go complete <clears throat> his Crown of the Shattered Queen. Great believe... item. I believe this is the first time we will yep. see a Hextech soul. Ooh, is it Hextech? Oh, it is. I see the little <clears> things <throat> in the map. So we've got some teleport shenanigans potentially here. Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know, the Hextech map creates these hex gates that will teleport you to predetermined locations on the map. They're very cool. I don't know. I, I always forget about them, but they I are very too. cool. They just teleport <laughs> somewhere instantly. Uh, the Hextech soul brings back Static Shiv, if you all remember that. Oh, mm -hmm. The Trundle Kindred. damage is coming online a little bit. Maybe Kindred will have to pop oh. a little ops not to. Victor will pick up the, uh, the Trundle there. The, the, the tricky thing about a situation like that is you're like, okay, I can ult to save myself, but it also saves the Trundle. Right. But Trundle has... I mean, yeah, you should probably ult. I think it's worth it there, yeah. Yeah, you should probably ult. Whole lot of Twitch damage here. Flash used to re... Oh. Gets the kill. Whole lot of damage. This Karma pick has really not been able to get anything done. It feels like every time we pan to bot lane, Karma's missing a mantra Q, dying, or really doing nothing. It, it's really bad. I'm, I'm just going to say, it's really bad when you have a Caitlyn plus poke lane and you get your ta your tower taken first. And if you look at the minimap, that bot lane turret is so healthy. Caitlyn really not getting anything done that she wanted to. <clears throat> And with that, with that Crown of the Shattered Queen, Victor is able to really actually compete with the Kiana and out able to stay up in lane where if you just get hit by something, you really don't take damage from it. So it's kind of fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Kansas has begun the slog to push their gold leading ahead. Yes. Up 3.5 now. This is really like the first time we've seen the, the gold kind of blossom, gold kind mm -hmm. of blossom. Second Herald secured. Here, I'm gonna click on Kindred. I want to see. Kindred does have four marks. That's very good. Four marks is that benchmark where you get your first round of of buffs. Yep, yep. Ooh, Ooh a cast used. Club going under turret there. Oh. Meanwhile. <clears throat> excellent. Oh. Kindred ult will be used. Ooh. Kiana does get deleted here. Oh, but the Kindred will fall. Victor picking up two there. And the Gragas gets out scotch free. Kled's alright too, though. Looking to crash this top turret. <clears throat> so, Kindred going down there is not ideal, but trading two for one is always good. And now your Victor has six kills, and he's very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Victor only gets better as the game goes on. Well, so you never would think that. <laughs> yeah. So, when you're Victor and you're one and a half items, chilling with six kills. I think you're feeling pretty good. Ooh, flash Ooh. used. Twitch does manage to get the root out of the way. Will not matter, though, as the Caitlyn ult will finish him off. So, unfortunately, does get caught without his flash. 
maybe trying to move for something, but they do have to commit a lot for him. They commit the Caitlyn ult, they commit the Gragas Flash. Dying there does suck, but uh, also not really the worst mm -hmm. time to die. Mm -hmm. There are worse times to die. True, true. Dragon will be up, but I believe he should be up and there for it. Excited to see which team is going to pick up their first Hextech Dragon. <laughs> or I guess of the game, because there was one last game. But yeah. you, you know what I mean. You don't need to get <clears throat> caught up in semantics. This Victor CS keeping up with almost the 10 per minute quota. Yeah. Uh, doing pretty well for himself, especially compared to this Kiana. Yeah, Victor uh, especially becomes a lot better with... Uh, I know every champion becomes better when they're kills, but I'll hold that thought. Trundle tried to accomplish a little bit of something-something there. Will get taken out, not expecting the whole Kansas team to be there. Ooh, the Kled flank. Hextech Drake will fall in. Kled from behind does engage on this Kiana. Will finish her off. And that's going to be a dragon secured for Kansas. So far, so good. They lose the jungler. They lose the mid laner. And now it will be time for KU to take the dragon. And from there, they may try to look mid for this mid turret. Which I do like. Really low health. Mm -mm. Up to members. There really isn't a whole lot that Harper can do about this. And we do see them back away. Rift comes up take on this inner turret. I really like this play. Yeah, so far so good. Um, Kiana will be up in a mere five seconds, but not before Shelly can do his work. Not able to get that last charge there. Unfortunate, but... Got enough value out of it. Mm -hmm. Take the Rift Herald, get that inner turret, that 600 gold. Mm -hmm. Definitely a very good play. Ooh, that's a speedy fat man. Ooh, a cast will come down on the Lulu. Lulu will have to use the ultimate to get out. <laughs> they really the does Lulu. manage to get the stun there. That's a lot of damage from the Twitch, though. Ultimate popped. Oh my goodness. Just the raw damage coming in, but it won't matter. Gragas does get taken out by the Lulu. Okay. okay, so nobody needed to die there. Lulu was out. Twitch definitely wanted to take that fight. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it was a bad idea. I mean, you're kind of flexing your, your muscles there. Uh... It is unfortunate that he does get caught by a couple spells and I mean when there's five people mid lane and you get caught by something that slows you down even just a little bit, you're probably gonna die. But the counter kill onto the Gragas, you know what, I'll say worth. I'll say worth. Good enough. And that gold lead, now almost seven thousand. I feel I feel good about this. Uh the victor sitting on two and a half items about, fully upgraded with his abilities. Just very, very strong champion. We've seen him be such a high priority pick in professional play and really kind of in solo queue also since the new season and you know since Arcane came out. <laughs> get that Arcane buff. Yeah, yeah. Along with Caitlyn and Jinx. Vi too, but not really a competitive champion. Mm -hmm. Jace. <laughs> <laughs> the Arcane buff. Ring tanked. <laughs> um so right now we do have just kind of some farming going on. Objective bounties are up for the side of Harper. Um, if I'm Harper here, I want to try to make a play on this Victor. Get that 1k gold shutdown. It's going to be really hard, but while he doesn't have stopwatch up, that's probably the timer that you're looking for. But I think Ooh, the Twitch damage coming online here. Kiana getting half health and knocked out of the game here. <clears throat> Kindred chase so far. dodging and twirling in, manages to pick up Karma. They will disengage here. Not quite able to pick up the Caitlyn. Take out the Kiana. Definitely not having the same kind of impact that it was in the last time around, which is, you know, good for us to see. Mm -hmm. And again, this Karma is really not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trundle ups to take the 1v1 against the... All right, but Victor doesn't Victor take damage. Here. Stun will get... <laughs> Delete it. Okay. Okay. Gragas is here. Let's see what he can do. Cask? Oh, okay. Not quite able okay. to do it. I... Okay. I didn't think the Gragas cask stole the Baron. I'll say it. I didn't think it did. But it died at a very <laughs> convenient time. It did look time. like it. It did look like it. It was like a it. little bit scary. But mm -hmm. Porchlin, guys, finger over that smite key. Able to take the Baron right at 20 minutes, pretty much. <laughs> and Victor completing that Lich Bane. Oof. It's so crazy. Victor has, like, 
of his three items. He has two defensive items, and he's still going to Q out of somebody and kill them. Mm -hmm. Maybe not now, but at some point in this game, I will say. That's my favorite my favorite <laughs> thing to do as Victor, is to Q out of them. It's called the, the counterplay combo. We really hit somebody with their own face. <clears throat> so far, Kled has not been too involved in the team fights, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, we'd love to see, you know, that one trick potential come through. And uh, potentially get some good ultimate usage there. Black down an opponent. But Kansas is thirsty for more. Ooh. Does manage to vision check the trundle. Flash does get used by him. So I would maybe like to see Kled stay a little bit longer in top lane. Try to bait the Gragas up there and have both of them use their TP. Or even Kled just like moving slightly earlier than him, I guess. But they make a move for this blue buff. Give it over, blue over to Victor. Secure. Dragon spawning here in probably 30, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, we will for sure see a contest, it seems. I don't think they should. <laughs> I think they would lose. I think they lose as well, but this might be the ultimate. They are trying to make the, the big play <clears throat> on the Kled. Kled? But he has ult, so he can just kind of get... Oh, he has oh, to he go in. in. Kled says, you know what? I've done my job. <clears throat> well, they trade the Kled life for the dragon. It isn't that soul quite yet. It is just that soul point. But they catch um, Harper up in their top side, recalling. So they are able to just push down this bot lane turret and get that probably for free. Um, which will be good because that's extra map pressure, 600 more gold. Always a good thing to take those. And at this point, if you're Harper, the way back into your game is this Victor. Kill, or killing the Victor, I should say. I think Victor accidentally popped his own just there. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. I was too busy looking at the mini map. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're absolutely right. I heard it. It yeah, just yeah, didn't yeah. register in my brain. Yeah, I was like, who, who just... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we saw that. Um, nothing gets past us. <laughs> nothing gets past us. <laughs> um, Harper does get the scuttle. They do um, get the scuttle crap. Small victories. Uh, small. Oh, of course. Take yeah. that back. Yeah, yeah. Large <laughs> victories. Um, so, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. Your goal is to take out this victor. S set a bunch of people up, figure out a way to kill him, get that gold onto your Caitlyn or your Kiana, somebody who can really use the money, and then, uh, you know what, go from there. Because that doesn't help you instantly. You are down 9,000 gold. Kansas is looking to push their advantage on the top side, get that last outer turret. I really mm -hmm. like this move from them. They have four in the top lane, one in the bot lane, mm -hmm. pushing out that lane. They are opting to move Kled up pretty early. He does have TP. I think he could shove that wave a little bit harder. <clears throat> oh, the vision check in the face. Not gonna do good there. Twitch finds Caitlyn, meanwhile. Uh, Trundle will go down. Kled ult engaged after oh. the TP usage. Twitch damage coming online. <clears throat> Things are not looking pretty for this Gragas here. Zonius lose just to waste a little bit of time. <laughs> Potential comboing up, but no escape for him. And that will be the last outer turret taken away. So it's almost like they were listening. They tried to send everybody oh. on the victor. Oh. Oh. Lulu <laughs> will karma. poke out the karma. <laughs> the Lulu damage is there. Kindred will have to pop ult here. Withering down the Kiana. <gasps> Not quite able oh. to do it. And the Lulu Support does combat. the Karma. Alright. So, wow. they tried their best to take out the Victor. They sent everybody on him, and he's full HP still, basically. <laughs> so, that didn't work. And they ended up losing the Inhibitor fight. Inhibitor won. They'll lose an in Taken one Inhib. Out. Probably a second Inhib here. Inhibitor 2. Yep. Taken out. And right now, we're looking like a KU victory may be coming in just a few short <clears throat> moments. That is a 12k gold lead Woo! for the side of Kansas. Things are looking up. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Lulu sitting at 2-0 and 13, winning that supportal combat against the 1-6 <laughs> now, Karma. Oh, that, that Karma is... Perhaps expected, uh -oh. but still fun. Yeah, really not getting a whole lot of value out of the Caitlyn Karma lane here. Mm -hmm. And I think the the Kiana is definitely not working out the way that they wanted it to, like it did last game. Uh, Victor, just a harder champion. I mean, you would think Trindamir with a button that stops him from dying would be harder. 
But, you know, Victor with the exhaust, with the phase rush, with the crown, with the Zonyas, really just able to buy so much time for his team to come help him. And he's just so incredibly strong. So I imagine we'll see a couple more waves come in, and then the <laughs> game will probably end. <laughs> the Gragas combo is here. The clad damage is online. Oh, a real quick ultimate used. And they'll disengage Caitlyn <laughs> Ops to give it an all. We'll pop the old Skarl. Ooh, he wants it? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, that's going on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you go on to Baron. Ooh. Victor Robotic finds a trundle. man sprinting at you. Ultimate used. Instantly deleted the trundle. <laughs> Victor is on Baron with his ult, of course. Mm -hmm, of course. Uh, trundle maybe hoping to turn that Baron from a good play into a bit of a burger flip. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, as I said before, the robotic man ran at him. Mm -hmm. Soul here can be won in just a short 30 or so seconds. Ooh, I've never seen that. Usually whenever you take the take the hex gate, it just kind of teleports you. Yeah, they changed so that, that was, So that was interesting. Yeah, they changed Well, no, that. I think this is for Spectator. Uh, no, no, no. They, it was in the patch notes. Um, if uh, you're like a Redlian soul, like your stars are going. If you're a cannon with an ult going, it'll actually go through it. Huh. <clears throat> I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Um, and this will be soul. Easy peasy. Yeah, not even contested. Have that Baron, have that Dragon Soul. Two inhibitors down. Only really one place to go. And that is bot lane. So if you have, if if uh, Harper have anything in them, now is the time to show it. Ooh, Grog is not able to get back. That's a lot of damage coming in. Not quite able to finish him off. Kindred ult will get popped, saving her and their life. Um, <laughs> Caitlyn chucks an ult. <laughs> the Twitch damage onto the Karma. Twitch gaming. Oh god. Oh, and they're the, just and running? They're, they're running, they're going in, they're going in! They want, they're thirsty for more. Fountain, no good for you, sir. And that'll be the ace, and that'll be the game. What a finish. Yeah, and, and in almost 30 minutes, KU will take game two of this best of three over Harper, and we will go up to two and one in the standings. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. We did it. That's a game really good three. game. I really like that game. Uh, we got to see the Twitch come out. Yes. The Twitch has been so successful for us, especially in week one. We didn't get to see it that much last week, so it was really good to see that return. And we finally got to see the Kled. The Kled, um, yes. And he, he was doing his job, I will say that. He was like really helping with these yep. with these yep. speed boosts, especially saw in that last <clears throat> fight, you just have this massive kindred with the Lulu ult just running at them. It's like, <laughs> what can you really do Go. about that? <clears throat> so, yeah, definitely some really good stuff. And I do believe we have an interview coming up with the winning mid laner, Jace. Ooh, so Victor. We'll, uh, we'll get that set up hopefully yes, here in a sec. Yes. I will tab out for that. Let Brandon here take over, do some questioning. Oh, yeah. Figure out what the heck's going on in that man's head. <clears throat> Exciting uh, stuff.
All right, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around for the post-game interview. We have Jace here, the winning mid laner. So first off, I just want to ask, how are you guys feeling after um, a little bit of a contestable series? I mean, we feel good that we won, but yeah. we played really bad. And <laughs> game two was like a disgustingly big throw yeah, from I us. Agree. So, I mean, we're obviously happy that we won, but I'm kind of disappointed in how we played overall. Um, I think game three we played really clean. Mm -hmm. I think our macro was way better, and we had way better, like, vision control. Game one, I mean, we won, but we were also kind of trolling a bit. Yeah, yeah, we can see um, a little So bit we're happy, but we definitely need to improve, like, those mistakes. And game three, like, that's, or game two, kind of inexcusable that we threw that. <laughs> so we need to uh, try and fix those issues in, like, practice this week. Mm -hmm. So with the two wins that you did get, it seemed like it was more of like the standard with like the control mage mid mm -hmm. and like of course in the game one you had the Zin Zhao jungle which is a little bit more standard with the Kindred here, but yeah. the game two draft was a little bit more unconventional with with the Senna with the Syndra support. Uh, I mean, support. support yeah. yeah. Um, so I just want to know if you guys are trying to do more of these unconventional things like with the Trinomir mid or if that was like kind of specific to the So Trinomir mid we've been practicing a lot and I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. I mean it's been at LCS yeah, a few I times agree. in pro play. Um, the only like issue with that is I think at like a college level of play I mean we're obviously not that good Yeah. Um, and Trinomir really doesn't want to team fight but a lot of like lower level play is all about like team fighting um, so we can win by like good macro but we have to be very disciplined to make sure we're playing safe, playing smart. Like if I'm on the side lane, everyone else needs to make sure they're backing up. And their comp was actually really, I shouldn't have played Trinomir, um, like period in that game. Yeah. Um, like the issue was like anytime I split pierce, they just have Zach Yumi. And they're, we have no yep. reliable way other than like, I think just Syndra E can interrupt it, but I think that was it on our team. Mm -hmm. That's like the only way we can stop the engage. So if I'm side lane, like they, like, we can make zero mistakes or like what happened is going to happen yeah. over and over where we just get caught and it got to the point where like i was so ahead early but kiana is so stupid kiana with her, so her bush q <laughs> that i can't even 1v1 her yeah because she'll be invis the whole duration of my ult so mm -hmm. like i like the matchup in lane like i stomped it i got yeah. like nine plates that's kind of like how it seemed minutes. i was so far ahead but we just kept like letting them get back in the game by getting those picks because we were not like patient enough for me to side lane and we tried to team fight too much which Trinmere really doesn't want to do most yeah. of the time um so that was just like bad play by us but majors bot we're playing a lot of i yeah. think they're pretty i think it's good overpowered well. right now um like dylan's been playing karthus syndra vigar and it's been working pretty well the only problem with that is since like we'll have ap bot we really need me on like a AD or really yeah. strong top jungle AD champs. You know, with the Akshan being And I will never play my main like ever. Um, so the only other AD champ I kind of play right now is Trindamir. And I think, like I was saying, it's kind of hard to play that at our level. Yeah. I think we can get better at it with practice, but right now we probably should keep it to scrims. Yeah. I, I really like really like the, the insight from that. And I do have one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of just a general. Do you think... Uh, I guess, in your opinion, would you like your play, your your guys' play style to be kind of more with the control mage or like the carry through bot with things like hyper carries like the Twitch mm -hmm. and the Jinx, or would you prefer it to be a little more fun? I guess with the Trendemir or maybe some old, um, some of your own Keanu games. So I think the the issue we have right now with bot is like Dean will sometimes play AD, but then other times he'll play support. So it's a bit like our practice is kind of a bit inconsistent when we keep flip-flopping that. Yeah. And I think it's fine because, like, Dylan loves playing, like, um, Enchanters, but Dean doesn't play them. Dean plays hard Engage, but Dylan doesn't. So, like, they have the exact opposite, um, like, champion pools, which is fine. So it's cool that we're flexible in that regard. But if we keep swapping, they're not getting as much practice on, like, the role that they probably, like, should be practicing. Yeah. Um, so I think, like, we can definitely keep practicing it like that and we can make it work but i think at the end of the day we really should like keep our set roles just so like our ad keeps getting better at ad and our support keeps getting better at support um i do like our hyper carry like style like with the jinx if yeah. i'm on like ori or even victor there i think that's probably the best way we win right now um i mean i like to try yeah other stuff the trigger yeah, i agree i have fun with it but again i think it's so hard to like 
execute well at our level, like mm-hmm. our skill level. So, like looking at the next week, we'll probably be against even better opponents. We really should have just two would them. <laughs> um, as disappointing as again that game two was. So nah, you we we knew that you were throwing throwing the second game. So yeah, it's for content for the first more time. More content. Yeah, more yeah. content. Um, so looking forward, we'll probably stick to like what we played in game three. I'm not sure about bot lane, but I think that's what we're best at right now. All right. Well, thank you for the interview. Yeah, if course, you have somebody you want to shout out, go ahead and do that uh, right now. I'll give you an opportunity. Shout out my mom, yeah, sister, and girlfriend, Jay LaRay on Twitch. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys. All right. So thank you all for watching. We'll be back here again next week at the same time, same place. So you better be here.